Hello, everyone. Welcome to Eye Magazine's Best Practice video series, where we interview winners from our Eye Magazine Awards from around the world. For this video, we are joined by Christine Yang, Senior Investor Relations Analyst at Central China Real Estate Limited. Uh, Christine, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Tim. Uh, it's my pleasure to talk with you. Great to speak with you. Uh, so, Christine, you won Rising Star at the Iron Magazine Awards Greater China 2021. Uh, congratulations, which is for Thanks. individuals who have been in IR less than five years and have brought fresh thinking to the profession. Um, so to start with, can you just tell us a little bit about your career so far and how you got into IR? Um, absolutely. Um, from the beginning, um, I have set our professional goals and this has not always resulted in success but it has provided me with a path from which uh, I can strive to be successful. Uh, so it was with this mindset that I decided to switch my career path as an IR professional uh, from technology sector, like uh, semiconductor, Odeon, OEM factories uh, to real estate industry and different capital markets, included bond market from Taiwan to Hong Kong. And my decision um, to enter the Hong Kong IR field uh, was based upon the uh, challenging career opportunities that will be provided by moving into this uh, dynamic market. Um, I have always strived to cope with uh, new challenges. Um, why? Um, because challenges begade um, opportunity. And this is true and has allowed me to bring new investment uh, through my previous network in Taiwan to our company in order to deliver shareholder portfolio. Great, thanks so much, Christine. And, and you alluded to this a little bit there, but um, you know, to what extent have your previous roles helped you while working in investor relations? You know, what sort of skills or experience have carried over in particular? Um, I think I would say um, timely and accurate information disclosure, like this kind of um, abilities and also a uh, proactive attitude, of course, and you need to be consistent communication with investor. Uh, obviously, um, this past two years with the overwhelming news flow of uh, the real estate industry uh, has caused the capital market to experience large and sometimes unexpected uh, fluctuations. Still, um, I think this period, although it's not, uh, has not been really ideal, uh, my previous role as an IR uh, manager provided me with the uh, know-how is to properly uh, manage investors' expectations. So um, with this experience as my guide, um, I have understood the necessity to make swift and timely responses, especially under this environment, to potential uh, crisis, always with an eye towards uh, investor relations. Fantastic. And um, yeah, question on the pandemic now. Um, and of course, it's had a huge impact on the IR profession and how companies engage with investors. You know, how have you been helping your company manage that transition? Um, you know, are there any initiatives you've been responsible for in particular? Um, COVID-19 pandemic has changed the practice of investor relations. Um, given the fast, fast nature of communication today, IR professionals need to be proactive in updating investor and senior management about any development. Thus, how to catch uh, investors' eyeballs and to enhance transparency have been the two main objectives, especially when many regulations have been deployed in the uh, real estate sector. So um, during the year, I have maintained close communications with investors through conference calls or videos, uh, I learned using various digital tools. I, I believe everyone needs to, uh, uh, to learn from that to stay in touch with investors. So uh, also I taught the management team how to use technology and online platforms to resolve time zone and location differences and difficulties. Uh, an interesting way of highlighting this is that um, I coordinated a monthly online reverse row show uh, with bilingual uh, project introductions videos. I think we are the only one to do it with my team, with my uh, colleagues, um, to make sure uh, investors cannot, who cannot travel uh, can understand our latest uh, property projects in Henan uh, in order to enhance uh, transparency. 
Great. Thank you, Christine. Now, that's a great example, I think, of how companies have been innovating over the last couple of years to make sure they can keep that connection, keep that engagement up with their investors. Um, and to what extent is IR activity returning to normal now? I mean, to what extent are you doing physical meetings or is it still predominantly virtual at the moment? Oh, um, the new normal. <laughs> Um, to be honest, it is difficult to see a world such as existed uh, when I first began my uh, career. As I mentioned before, I have embraced the virtual world of uh, conferencing and investor relations. Um, maybe as we look to the future, I think the questions should not be like how we uh, get back to normal, uh, but rather I think uh, we should seek um, innovative solutions on how to combine the best attributes of both worlds. Absolutely. I think, yeah, given, um, you know, a lot of the changes we've had over the last couple of years have actually been positive in a way in terms of additional efficiency, additional flexibility from an IR perspective. And so, you know, how do we incorporate those into IR work going forward will be very interesting. Um, and, and just as one final question, you know, work and our personal lives as well have been a lot more complicated over the last couple of years due to the pandemic, you know, with so many lockdowns, so many social restrictions. So I wanted to ask you, you know, is there anything you've been doing inside or outside of work to sort of help you stay positive and keep a healthy mindset during these times? Oh, a great one question. Um, I continue to enhance, uh, to embrace actually uh, the virtual world. So I try to take a healthy approach to the changes that have been thrust upon us. Um, in this environment, um, I have come into contact with more investors that I perhaps would uh, not have encountered before, uh, which makes me really excited and more enthusiastic actually about my work. And another thing is that meetings have become more efficient and effective. For example, um, I believe most in IR uh, professional must have experienced investors cancel the meeting at the last minute when you flew to one city, one country to do non dual shows. And this might be a once a year opportunity to meet these investors. But I found this um, situation rarely, if ever, happens in the virtual world as one can be more flexible with the ability to reschedule meetings. We always can reschedule another uh, week or another month. And um, outside of the work, I always uh, believe that um, positive energy can be infectious uh, when you have confidence in yourself. And confidence comes when you focus on achievement and accomplishment. So um, recently I have learned to wake surf which has uh, allowed me to conquer my fear of water since I was a kid. Um, it is exactly this sense of uh, achievement that uh, brings me a positive uh, energy. That's fantastic to hear. That sounds like um, a lot of fun and a great way to disconnect from all the time we're spending online talking to each other at the moment. Um, <laughs> But uh, Christine, fantastic. Well, I think that's a, a, a great place to, to end the conversation. Um, thank you so much for dialing into the call today. Um, it's been great to talk to you, to, to meet you. And um, thank you so much for sharing your story with us.